All right, what's going on? I'm back at it with another one. And um, thanks for taking the time to check me out. I appreciate it. So, look, I don't know, man. It, it's, it, it just never ceases to amaze me that some people will argue, fight, and even die over the dumbest things. So, um, th- this next one is uh, one of those examples because... You know when you when you see this i mean it, it really it, it it doesn't make any sense you know you got three people who have lost their lives over an argument about who has more money and who's got the biggest gun um i mean when you when you hear this stuff i mean when, or when you see it, it it's just it's like this is unbelievable but it but it happens so uh, check this one out, and I'm going to offer up my thoughts after this one. Family member Cell Fox 5's Joy Dukes, they can't even begin to process just what happened. I fell out um, because this is not what you want to see. For Westside resident Kiwi Ashmead, the site of this crime scene on Evans Street Saturday was traumatic. I'm supposed to go on a family vacation next week, and now we... We're not going with my nephew. Um, and so we have to bury up my nephew. She identified her nephew, 20 year old Jacoby Maddox, as one of the three people Atlanta police detectives say were shot and killed when an argument escalated to gunfire just after 1 p.m. Maddox was a father to a one year old boy. He was a tall, gentle giant, um, very respectable. Um, unfortunately, you know, the streets got a hold of him. As a longtime resident, this woman who identified herself as TT but did not want her face shown says she's seen just how dangerous the streets can be. She says she was there in the moments leading up to the shooting. Two guys arguing over who got money and who pistol is the biggest. I say it's very concerning about what's going on now. It's getting very outrageous over here now with the senseless killing, senseless shooting. Resident Monique Burston echoed those concerns, telling Fox 5 she lost her own daughter to gun violence in 2017. I feel that it's sad that mothers like me have to bury our children. Our children are not burying us anymore. We're burying them. West End residents say shootings are an everyday occurrence. And while it seems more and more youth are being named the victims, they're calling on parents and city officials to take more action to address it. But our city need to get it together. You mayors, mayors in the past that have said what y'all was going to do for our kids then didn't get done, pay attention. In Atlanta, Joy Dukes, Fox 5 News. All right, so, I mean, you know, honestly, I, I don't think the mayors or the city officials, I mean, I don't think they can do anything. I mean, to, you know, this, I mean, that was just, just dumb idiotic i mean what was the point you know what i mean because now you got three families that have to plan funerals and um it's probably gonna cost more than what they were arguing about it's gonna cost more money than what they were arguing about i mean in these situations it's really kind of hard to feel you know for these individuals because it, it was just too easy to walk away i mean yeah your, your ego your ego might take a hit you know, but at least you're still alive. And then on top of that argument about the money, they're out there arguing about who got the biggest gun. I mean, that that right there, I mean, it, it just doesn't register with my brain at all. I mean, as hard as I'm trying to make sense of it, it it's just not happening for me. Maybe somebody out there can make sense of it, but I can't. Um, and, and what's really scary about this whole situation is that you had other people around that had nothing to do with it they could have been hurt because as you know in a lot of these situations you know these fools can't shoot and they end up sending rounds all in the cars and houses and buildings so i mean i guess that's kind of like a silver lining that you know nobody else got hurt when all of this went down but here's something else some people really need to get off of this materialistic display of one-upmanship and if you don't know what i'm talking about uh, when I say um, one-upmanship, it, it, it means the technique or practice of gaining a feeling of superiority over another person, right? In this situation, it was a display of one-upmanship over who got more money, going back and forth about it. Somebody probably got mad, which 
led to who got the biggest gun and then that escalated to using those guns which unfortunately led to the demise of these three individuals so here, here's here's my advice and, and i want people to remember this choose your battles wisely now am i saying that all conflict is avoidable no it's not um, but when it comes to stupid stuff like this i, I think it's avoidable 99 percent of the time right you know, all three of them had the opportunity to walk away. And you can't say that the opportunity wasn't there. They just chose to ignore it. I always talk about the battle of egos and, and these pissing matches that people have with each other. Well, this right here is an example of it, right? But like I said, choose your battles wisely because you have to be very selective of the problems, arguments, and confrontations that you get involved in. I mean, one of them had a one-year-old child, and now what? So save your time, energy, and effort um, on the things that matter, not on silly and trivial things like who's got more money and the biggest gun. So, so that's it, man. This is that that's what I wanted to drop because I had it on my mind, and um, you know, I was like, man, this can't be real, you know. But it happens, and it did happen. Um, so, till next time, take care, stay safe. Stop getting uh, getting into these arguments over just stuff that don't matter. You know, dumb things. Learn to walk away. So take care. Stay safe. Peace, y'all.